These new Muth sequential signal mirrors for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing are super cool. But that's not all. They also add safety. They improve your visibility to people coming up from behind and when you go to change lanes. So yes, they are super cool and we're going to install them today on this 2018 Plus Goldwing Tour. The Muth Signal Mirror Kit comes with a left and right hand mirror as well as the wire harnesses and cable ties. There are also printed instructions. These jumper harnesses make installation much easier and they're now included in the kit. To protect the CAN bus electrical system on the 2018 Plus Goldwing, Muth recommends that you have the Show Chrome Accessories isolation fuse block installed. Now, you can order this from the link on the screen and I have a complete video showing how to install this on your Goldwing. And this video assumes you already have the Show Chrome Isolation Fuse Block installed. To install the Muth signal mirrors, we're going to need to remove the inner cowl on each side of the motorcycle. We're also going to need to remove both rear view mirrors, the middle cowl, and the seat. Installation is essentially the same for the airbag model or the non-tour model Goldwing. Here's a list of the tools you're going to need to complete this project. First, we're going to remove the inner cowl. Now, I'm going to show you how to do everything on one side of the motorcycle, and every step is essentially the same for the other side. The inner cowl is a black plastic panel that's inside the front wheel well. Remove the 5mm Allen socket bolt at the front of the inner cowl down toward the bottom. At the top of the inner cowl, at the very front, there's another 5mm socket bolt. Remove it as well. There are six plastic body clips, or what some people refer to as plastic rivets, that hold the panel in place. You can see them here. Using a pick or the tip of a screwdriver, punch in on the center of the body clip and then use your fingernail to remove the clip as shown. It may help to use a flashlight to see those body clips, but once they're all removed, you can work the panel loose and pull it out through the front of the motorcycle. Next, we're going to remove the rear view mirrors. Now you begin by folding the rear view mirror in toward the rear of the motorcycle. Locate the single 5mm socket bolt on the underside of the mirror housing and remove it using an Allen wrench. That will allow you to remove the small plastic mirror arm panel. The rear view mirror is held in place with these two 8mm bolts. Use an 8mm socket to remove these bolts. Make sure when you're removing the second bolt that you're holding onto the mirror housing so that it doesn't fall. You'll notice a wire is connected to the mirror and that's for your rear turn signal. You'll need to disconnect the connector by pulling it out from the shelter, locate the little tab, and lift up on the tab to pull the connector apart. Now we're ready to remove the middle cowl. We begin by removing this outer deflector. It's held in place with two 5mm socket bolts. Once these are removed, you can then begin twisting the panel from the bottom up to release the plastic tabs. Remove the body clip from the inside of the shelter where we removed the inner cowl. There's another plastic body clip at the rear of the radiator grill. You can see it here. Punch in the center with a pick or a screwdriver and remove it with your finger. Remove the 5mm socket bolt at the top of the middle cowl. It's underneath where the mirror was installed. There are three plastic bosses on the back of the panel that fit into rubber grommets located in these areas. Release the first pin from the grommet by pulling out from the bottom as shown. To release the pins from the other two grommets, work your fingers underneath the white plastic in between the white and the black plastic and pull straight out. 
you will hear a pop and they will release. Now you'll begin working your way toward the front of the panel, releasing a series of clips along the top edge. There is a small pin at the very front of the panel that fits into the main shelter, so you want to make sure uh, to kind of push the panel forward as you remove it. Now for detailed step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove all these parts and pieces, you can check out my 2018 Plus Goldwing Maintenance videos. Over 60 videos that really go into a lot of detail. You can also check out the Honda Service Manual. I'll put links in the description down below. Now we're ready to remove the seat. Go ahead and open both saddlebag doors and lower the passenger footrests. You can remove the side covers by pulling them out from the center as shown here. The heated seat connector is located just in front of the right saddlebag and you'll need to disconnect it by pressing on the tab on the top half of the connector. Here's the tab here. There's a 6mm Allen bolt at the front of the seat on each side. You'll need to use a socket or a 6mm Allen wrench to remove these bolts and washers. Next, put your fingers under the very front of the seat and lift straight up. You will release the nylon pins from the rubber grommet. Now make sure you have your hand under the front edge of the seat as you lift the seat up and pull it forward to release the hooks at the rear. Now we're ready to route the Muth wire harness to underneath the seat. Let's start up by the rear view mirror. I'm going to use a cable tie to attach the connector end of the harness to the wire that goes to the turn signals on the rear view mirror as shown here. I want the Muth connector to be at about the same area as the connector for the turn signals. Now I'm fishing a 36 inch cable tie from the rear of the motorcycle, kind of between the gas tank and the top shelter. I'm going from the back to the front. Here is the area up where the middle cowl was that we removed earlier. You can see the end of my cable tie there. Uh, you could also use a coat hanger, but I'm gonna pull that through and I'm gonna use this to fish my wire down to underneath the seat. So I'm taping the end of my wires on the Muth mirror harness and I'm just gonna pull them through through so that you come out down there by the gas tank and the uh, seat. Then I'm going to feed those wires under that bracket and once I get all this in place I'm actually going to use a little piece of gaffer's tape to hold it down to the gas tank there and then it's simply a matter of stripping off the ends of the wires and getting everything all hooked up. Here you can see how to connect the wires to your show chrome isolator fuse block. Now we're ready to disassemble the mirrors and install the Muth mirrors. Okay, so I've got this. This is the right side mirror. I'm going to show you how to remove this glass from the mirror housing. And uh, to understand how it's uh, kind of attached, on top there's a couple of little, I call them hooks, that slip down into slots. And on the bottom, there's a couple of little clips that snap onto a... Yeah, a little round rod and the first thing we have to do is re release those clips from that rod so the way we do that we're going to start working from the bottom of the mirror this is the bottom we want to tilt that base all the way up to the top and we're going to press down on this this edge here and release that clip and you'll hear a pop and it takes quite a bit of force to do this so don't be too concerned that you're going to break something but we're going to just press down and you'll hear it pop when it releases like that. So once we release these clips, the next thing we have to do is get these little tabs to release. But since we've pressed this base all the way to the top, we have to move that base back down so that we can get access. So the way you can do that is you can kind of reach inside here and grab this base and kind of pull it down so that it's more flat. And that's, I can do it with my fingers. If you can't do it with your fingers, you could use a flathead screwdriver or some tool. Mesh it down with my thumb. Okay, now I've got it down the other direction. Now I can get these little, these little hooks to release. 
Now, if we look at the back of the mirror, you'll see here's those little hooks I'm referring to. They just slip up under these posts here, this little post here, and this clip, these clips down here snap onto these other posts down at the bottom. So the next thing is we need to do is we need to loosen this black bezel. I think they call it a fascia, but in the instructions, but this uh, black bezel, this plastic here, we're going to release that. The first thing, there's two screws right here that hold this in, Phillips or JIS screws. There's also a little clip that's kind of hard to see. I'll show you that here in just a second down at the bottom. And then there's a, uh, a body clip back here at the kind of on the very inside edge of the mirror. I'm going to use one of these little picks just to press in on that body clip like that. You can also use the tip of a screwdriver if you don't have a pick. So I'm going to use my pick to just kind of pry it up a little bit. Don't want to scratch the paint like that, just to get it out. There we go. And then we can go ahead and reset the clip just by pushing up on the bottom. Now it's ready to be reinserted, or reinstalled. Set that off to the side. And now let's take out our two Phillips screws. There's a little plastic clip right there, and it kind of holds the bottom edge of this mirror uh, bezel in place. And to release that clip, you can use a, fl a little flathead screwdriver. I'm just going to use this pick and just kind of pry out on it, and it will come loose like that. And now, this whole little black plastic piece, there we go. Okay, now you can see that little, uh, there's a little clip back here that kind of snaps in down here. And it just took some kind of wiggling around to get that to come loose. So now we're ready to wire up our mirror. And you'll notice the wire that comes on the mirror is rather short. What I'm going to recommend that you do is that you get these little extenders, they're little jumpers. Uh, that will make this uh, wire go out and extend out through the body of the mirror housing out to where, uh, just like the cable does from uh, Honda for the turn signal. But these little jumpers will allow you to, it's going to make it much easier the next time you have to remove this mirror from the motorcycle. If this connector is out here, on the end next to the turn signal uh, connector, then when you remove the mirror from the motorcycle, you simply have to disconnect it right there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the male end of this connector, this uh, little jumper. You see that little slot where our Honda cable comes through. I'm just going to kind of fish it inside that slot. And the first thing I want to do is I want to tie this off with a cable tie just about the same location that it's tied off here. So I've got my cable tie over here, but there's still some play. I can still pull these wires through. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these through. Right now I want as much wire uh, to play with inside this housing. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slip this fascia back over that, that wire because it's going to have to come through here, but I'm not, going to, I'm not going to install it yet. I just want it visible, and I'm going to go ahead and plug in my mirror. I'm going to make sure that this connector is tucked down inside the housing underneath this fascia so that it's out of the way. So the mirror is just going to kind of hang out here a little while till I get this fascia back in place. But I want to make sure those connectors are down inside or underneath all of this mechanism so that they don't interfere with this black uh, bezel or fascia. 
So I'm going to put my, uh, kind of get my fascia back in place. And you can see everything is looking pretty good here. Everything's down and hidden out of way. And I can actually get my push pin uh, back in. And that's the first step. And all you do is you push that little pin in the center and that locks it down. Now then what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap down this black bezel all the way around to make sure it's seated. Because remember, there's that little clip right here. I want to make sure that's engaged. Now, once we have that uh, bezel snapped back in place, don't forget we have to put our screws back in. And these do not have to be very tight. Just, you want to make sure they're secure, but you don't want to crank down on them really, really hard. Just make sure they're firm and that's all it requires. First thing is we want to get our two little hooks here back up under these top posts and then we will snap it down into place and we'll be ready to go. Just make sure that your wires are underneath this little rotating base right here so that they don't get crimped. Okay, I think I've got my hooks in place. I'm just checking to make sure that I don't have anything constricting my wires. And now it's clipped down. Now we're ready to reinstall the mirrors. Go ahead and connect the turn signal connector that we disconnected earlier and then connect up the Muth mirror harness. And then you can tuck all of those wires and connectors back into that shelter area and out of the way. Reinstall the two 8 millimeter bolts and your mirrors are now installed. Once the rear view mirrors have been reinstalled, you can reassemble the rest of the motorcycle. Begin with the plastic mirror arm panel, followed by the middle cowl. Then reinstall the inner cowl, and of course, move on to the seat. Now don't forget to reconnect the heated seat connector, very important, and then you can reattach your side panels and you're done. And once again, if you feel like you need more detailed, in-depth, step-by-step instructions on how to install or remove these various parts, check out my 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing maintenance videos. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.